Hi, I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we see how Detroiters enjoy their Coney dogs, do some fabulous window shopping at 12 Oaks Mall, and then we visit the upscale Hill Gallery in Birmingham, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. And a downtown Detroit landmark, American Coney Island. And if you love these, this is the place to be. We're kicking off a Coney eating hot dog contest. So Grace, tell me what's going on here at American Coney Island. We're having the first annual Coney eating contest. How many Coney's you can eat in 10 minutes. And the biggest winners actually of tonight is Golightly Career and Technical Center. We've established a Kiros Family Fund Scholarship for the culinary students at this school. And it's so the kids of Detroit at this school that are going to the culinary world yes. will may hopefully one day be able to stay in Detroit, open up a restaurant in Detroit. So we're giving the proceeds all to that. Oh, that's wonderful. It's so wonderful. That, is that it's sort great. of what inspired it? That's what inspired it, the whole thing. A lot of people coming out for this. Really happy, including you guys. Thank you. And bringing some attention to downtown and kind of showing Nathan's and Coney Island in New York, like, you know what, hey, we can yeah. do it 10 times better than that. Yeah, oh, it's exciting. So we've got three of the judges here. We've got Rick Mahorn, Shane Carson, and Ken Cockrell getting ready to kick it off. Well, the excitement in the room is just about to be kicked off, and I'm going to hand it over to Tom Constan. I want to recognize people from the Go Lightly Career and Technical Center. <laughs> Ladies, raise your hand back there. I also want to take the time and recognize our celebrity judges here today. Former mayor and current Detroit City Councilman and longtime, if not lifetime, Detroit supporter, Mr. Kenneth Cockrell Jr. <laughs> Former bad boy of the Detroit Pistons, the legendary Rick Mahorn. And Shane Collins from Wow Shane Wow. Radio internet personality. <laughs> now we have another judge that's on his way. It's gonna be Charlie Leduff when he gets here in a second, we'll introduce him. They're lining up the trays here for the Coney eating challenge. And of course these are authentic Coney dogs. We've got the awesome chili from here at American Coney Island and the onions and the mustard and they're just, all that yumminess hot off the grill. They look delicious. What do you think about Coney's as the first off? I love them. I mean, it's, it's part of Detroit heritage, and you got to always have a coney when you come in. Don't leave any on your face. Because <laughs> if you leave it on your face... Oh, come on, bro! I grew up eating these things. I've been coming to American Coney Island since I was probably about five years old. My dad used to bring me in here. Well, the main reason I'm here today is, well, two reasons. One, it's a great charity helping out the DPS students, Go Lightning specifically. And then two, it's about American Coney Island and what they're doing along with the sponsors. <laughs> We are so excited that they are partnering with us and, and, and supporting our students with scholarships. This is just a wonderful thing. Thank you, buddy. Charlie, thanks for coming. This is the best restaurant in Detroit, period. Right, I'm right. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. You must eat the full Coney. That's defined as a hot dog and bun with chili, mustard, and onions. But the best chili and onions and mustard and bun that you'll ever have, you know that. You must fully eat one before proceeding to the next. Only the final coney will be counted as partially eaten. Coney's still in the mouth at the end of 10 minutes count only if swallowed. Contestants who do not keep food down for a minimum of 30 seconds after the conclusion of the contest will be disqualified. All right, and finally, let me talk about the prize package. What our winner will win, a $250 gift certificate to the Somerset Collection, a gift certi certificate to Michael Simon's Roast, and we have, you get, I should say, a year's worth of free Coney lunches, one a week yeah! for a year. 15, I'm claiming it right now. 15, 15, 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 
my strategy? Just speed. Just keep going and just shoving them in. So here comes the girl. They're each starting out with one dozen per plate. And then, of course, they've got more when they finish those. Five, four, three, two, one. Eat. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. So we're about a minute or two into it. I don't know. Some guys are really going to town. Wow. The gentleman from Quicken in the middle. This is a close contest, I'll tell you. Unbelievable. We got some Coney lovers here, that's for sure. Savor every bite. Five, four, three. Slow down two, one. Go! Time! Larry, come here. Dad, or, no, stay there. Stay there. <laughs> uh, and I'll stay here. <laughs> On the other side of the table. First of all, let me congratulate everybody here. I think they deserve a big round of applause. That was a hell of an effort. Thank you all. Thank you all, contestants. So Larry's the official winner. Right. Ten and a half hot dogs Lovely. in ten minutes. He's about to get the hot time, dog trophy. How does it feel to be the first Pony Dog winner? Uh, it feels it feels good. I'm, I'm a little full. Uh, probably not gonna eat dinner tonight, but, <laughs> but uh, you got a you got a little a little drink of mustard. Thanks, thanks for that. No, are you gonna go home and put this up on your mantle? Uh, actually, it's going uh, going to my desk at work. All my coworkers came out to support me. It's it's going right on the desk at Quicken Loans. It's gonna support my team. Now you had a big cheering section. Do you think that helped to lead to your success? Yeah. I did absolutely. It was it was a mental thing. I knew everyone was behind me. I had the crowd. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. So there you have it, American Coney Island, a Detroit landmark since 1917. And you don't need to have a Coney dog eating challenge to taste some of the best dogs in town. Novi at 12 Oaks Mall, which has been a longtime favorite mall of mine. And besides just having a really good mix of different stores, they've really anchored themselves as a destination in this area. So stick around because we're going to go on a whirlwind tour and do some fabulous window shopping. So Peggy, what makes 12 Oaks Mall such a great destination mall? We have absolutely everything anyone could want here. We have 200 stores. We're the largest mall in Michigan, actually. We have five anchor stores. We have Macy's, Lord & Taylor, Nordstrom, JCPenney, and Sears here, as well as, uh, like I say, almost 200 other stores and services. We've opened a lot of new stores in the last year or so, in addition to the 40 that we opened when we added our Nordstrom wing. We really, truly do have something for everything. Families, men, women, children, we've got something for everybody. And it's also such a beautiful, beautiful mall. It's a nice ambiance to come and shop in. I think people are, would be surprised to know we're 34 years old here at 12 Oaks, but we don't look it because we've continued to upgrade it and renovate and keep the place just beautiful. I think it looks brand new if you walk through here. Oh, I agree. We actually have seating pods throughout the mall on the upper level and the lower level oh. for people to relax. And as a matter of fact, we even get people asking us where we got our furniture because they want to buy some. So. Oh, that's funny. What are some, some of the popular restaurants that you've got in here? Um, well, we've got a lot of fun ones. We have uh, Tin Fish, we have uh, California Pizza Kitchen, Max and Irma's, Olga's. So again, we can ha handle families, we can handle people that want to go out for an evening on the town. We've got it all. Put your walking shoes yeah. on. We're 1.55 million square feet of space here, so we've got a lot of, uh, lot of ground to cover here. All right, well, I, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. White House Black Market is one of our newer stores. They just opened last holiday season. and been very well received by the customer. And we're coming up to Love Culture, which again, it's a beautiful store and it's so bright and I, I love really the yeah. Front. Isn't oh, it's it great? Like bling all over the it, place. It is a very popular store yeah. with uh, some of the younger folks. Puma, AX Armani, BCBG, oh, wow. a cookie oh, kit my that you goodness, can how nice Yeah. Is that? 
cookie cutters and um, things you can do for like kids parties and stuff oh, like that. Wow, I am coming back to get that. That is so neat. It's all the superheroes it looks like. You know, again, we're in our new expansion wing here. Um, it's new as of 2007. And you can see this is kind of a trademark of Taubman Malls with the bright skylights and just the beautiful ambiance that we have in our centers. You just, you know, we bring the outside in and it's just a, a nice experience to walk through here. It's bright and clean and light. Down here on the lower level of the new wing, mm -hmm. we've got some more upscale shops. A lot shops. of great store guests, Levi store, Lush is down here. Also down here in the Nordstrom wing, we have Saunders, an old time family uh, Detroit favorite. And, I didn't uh, even know they had their own stores anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. They have the best, the best I know. toppings in the world. There's lots of things to do besides even shopping. There's the food court, and I know there's the Build-A-Bear for the kids, and just things to keep them busy while you're here. It's like an outing, so they don't have stores that the mall by my house has. We offer scooters, wheelchairs, uh, all different sizes of strollers. We also sell gift cards, and at our center court information desk, we are a Ticketmaster retail location. This is a location for Ticketmaster, gift cards, and again, you can get wheelchairs and strollers here as well. Well, Peggy, you were right. This is a dramatic entrance. It's beautiful. This is our valet entrance located yeah. between Nordstrom and Lord and & Taylor, so for the convenience of our guests who don't want to park um, themselves, they mm -hmm. can come here and park. Handicap parkers uh, with stickers are free. This is Delia's. They are uh, originally were a catalog store and now opened a storefront. We were one of the first ones to have an actual Delia's store here. Yeah. And just beyond that, Aerie by American Eagle is another one. It was one of the first stores, um, uh, one of their new concepts that American mm -hmm. Eagle brought out. So Bear Essentials is another one of our newer stores, hugely popular with the customer. 77 Kids by American Eagle is our newest store that we've opened here at 12 Oaks and it is just an absolutely fun, great store for kids. Newborn sizes up to size 14 for both boys and girls. I love the store and kind of like a rocker mm -hmm. edge mm -hmm. to it for newborns on up. DC Sports is another local store. Yep, another local store and they sell sports memorabilia and autographed um, a sports item. And any given time, you'll see we'll have different Red Wings and Tigers and Lions and people that come by. And so you never know who you're going to meet when you oh. come to Volvo. There's a lot of different selections and uh, the prices anywhere from high to low to in between. So it's for everybody. Especially the new section now, you can get designer clothes. You were mentioning you have seating throughout mm -hmm. the mall. We have soft seating throughout the mall, but one of our seating pods actually has something a little bit more special. We have a couple of TVs here. Very popular spot for the guys on game Saturday. I'm sure it is. Um, now, this store you're saying, Artisan Market, what is... Uh, Artisan Market is a is a almost like a co-op of about 60 Michigan artists. Everything is Michigan made in here. Artists actually are often here in the store. They actually take turns um, working the store. So you might actually meet the artists who made the piece that you're purchasing. We're standing in front of our XXI Forever store, which is one of um, the largest stores in the mall other than the department stores. It actually extends from Macy's all the way to our center court. So this whole space as we're walking along here, you'll see uh, sells uh, men's and women's clothing. This is a huge junior store too, right? Yes. So Peggy, this is the food court and I wish we had smell TV. It smells wonderful in here. <laughs> it does and we've got again cuisine for all tastes. We've got ice cream and soup and sandwiches and Asian food and all just everything you can imagine. And we have uh, seating for 700 inside and an additional 50 on our outside patio as well. The luckiest place, very much. Yeah. It's, it's close to your hotel, so you're from out of town. Where are you from? We're, uh, China. we're from China. China! Oh, welcome to the D! Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear you like our shopping here. All of my friends, uh, when they have chance to visit the uh, United States, they all like to visit uh, this uh, shopping mall. This shopping mall. Yeah. So just down the Sears wing from the play area, you were saying this is a wonderful We have a spa. fabulous spa, Trico Salon and Spa. It's a great place for all your uh, spa kind of needs. Hair, nails, 
massages, waxing, everything. They've got it all. Peggy, thank you so much. It's our pleasure to have you here. <laughs> Wonderful mall, and you were right. This is a luxurious spa, and I think it's actually calling my name. I'm done window shopping, and now I'm going to go relax and get a massage. <laughs> hey, have a great time. <laughs>of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. Disney on Ice's latest theme is Dare to Dream and the Spring Boat Expo sails into Novi. Downtown Royal Oak celebrates St. Patrick's Day with a parade and The Constant Wife is a comedy of manners. Don't miss the wickedly funny musical from the creators of South Park or the great movie music of Henry Mancini at the Max. Championship College Hockey faces off at the Joe. Then hop on over to the Detroit Zoo for Bunnyville's egg extravaganza. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. Hey, if you're looking for culture in the D, we've got a ton of art. If you're like me, walking into an art gallery can be a little intimidating, but we were at the Hill Gallery in downtown Birmingham where they're dispelling the notion that it needs to be. It's basically like coming into a museum where they really want you to appreciate their contemporary fine art and their great American folk art. Hi, I'm Pam Hill, and I am the uh, co-director, along with my husband, Tim Hill. I want to give you a tip about something that's going on in Birmingham and that is the public art, which we call here cityscapes. And we have on display nine pieces of outdoor sculpture that you will enjoy, and it's there to be seen by you. Oh, it's okay that I did that. Now for this, you need a really big wall. Well, so Pam, tell me a little about the Hill Gallery. I mean, is it intimidating? It's intimidating to somebody who doesn't know a lot about art. But you're welcome to come in and take a look around, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, that notion of being, uh, feeling like one is intruding when they go into a gallery or feeling like, well, because they're not a buyer, maybe they shouldn't come in. 
uh, that is absolutely the opposite of the reality. The reality in a gallery is that the works in the gallery, any gallery, are made by artists who really, really want to have people look at their work. Most of what we have right now, these are all uh, highly recognized, uh, really internationally known artists. It's kind of a way to kind of share, you know, the power of uh, national American art with our local audience. So this is sort of unusual. What are we standing next to here? Uh, this piece is made by an artist whose name is Jean Heinstein, a New York-based artist. And Jean deals with um, simple shapes, uh, but the, com the making of the pieces are very complex, mm -hmm. and the fact that it is floating in space. It's, it's weightless. So how a piece of art is presented has a lot to do with our response to it. Mm. I know what I'm thinking about, wonder what she's thinking about. I'm thinking about why am I standing like this? <laughs> So you have a, a mixture of contemporary art, but then you also have folk art in here, correct? That's right. Um, so right here, uh, this is a piece that comes out of the field of American folk art. Folk art. Father Time is a symbol that we see, you know, all the time. And Father Time here, who is uh, pointing down to Earth, and he's uh, suggesting that uh, morality and uh, ideal behavior should be now because the symbol of death, this scythe, uh, mm. is saying, look, your life may not be forever. So this is a great example of folk art, but mm -hmm. behind us, this mm -hmm. is an awesome contemporary piece. This piece is by a very important American sculptor, Mark de Suvero. Uh, and Mark uh, does large-scale works. He's in museums all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and his work, some of Mark's pieces actually get up to 72 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. This would be a small piece, This is, uh, but it's an exquisite piece. So what we have is uh, cut steel that looks like it's easy to do. It's very difficult to cut steel. And then we have this element at the top that spins. And then we have another element above that also moves. So we basically have a double motion going on. So we've got some lovely stainless steel here. Behind me, we've got Anne. And I'm thinking about going pink, too. So what do we have here? One very abstract piece, and then one piece that certainly is quite different. Can you explain the the dynamic, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, and again, this is a, a kind of juxtaposition or a placement that Tim and I really like to do in the gallery because we like to show how things are somewhat similar and mm -hmm. how they're very different. So in this case, uh, the similarity is color, and so we have you know red, green, white, blue, mm -hmm. and the same red, green, white, blue happening over here. Right. And uh, but this is a uh, really exceptional example of a Native American Sioux Indian vest, and this would have been done uh, right around 1890. Oh, wow. And uh, we have uh, the really beautiful reduced geometry that you find in Native American design. Michael Goldberg is uh, creating uh, like a cacophony of form. He's putting together shapes and colors and shifting moments that uh, suggests, uh, well, if you're looking or listening to music, this would be like uh, jazz at its wildest. Mm -hmm. Veronica, I want you to see this collection of American whirly gigs that we're showing. Whirly gigs? Yes, these are whirly gigs. And the idea of a whirly gig comes from the whirly. And the whirly <laughs> is the fan blade, the like windmill blade that actually would create the energy to move the figures. So whirly gigs are also animated. This is Philip Perlstein. He's an American Expressionist. Uh, Philip is in over 65 
museums. Wow. At just about every museum you can name owns at least one Philip Pearlstein. There's an abstraction and there's a lot of realism in Philip's work. Well, Pam, thank you so much. Thank you. It's my pleasure. I loved it. You've been so informative and so educational. Thank and you. the Hill Gallery really is making art accessible to everyone. Great job you're doing. Thank here. you. And we hope to have lots of visitors. That's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you'd like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.